Okay, 11.6 is called Volume of Pyramids. Um, so, in the last section, we talked about um, prisms and cylinders, and the volume formula that was the area of the base. Remember that this is area of base times the height. The height's the distance between the two bases. Okay? Um, for pyramids, it's going to be one third of the area of the base times the height. Okay? Uh, I had some good demonstrations to show why it'd be one third, but it's a little hard to do on this video. But you can find them on YouTube really easily if you're interested. Okay? Um, you also sometimes see um, the formula written like this, because dividing by three is the same as multiplying by a third. So that's fine. If whichever version you prefer will work fine. Okay. So first, I'm just going to talk about some um, vocab associated with um, a pyramid. So um, the point that it comes to is called the vertex. Okay. Um, the base is going to be the opposite end. So this um, is a rectangular pyramid. Um, so pyramids are named by their bases. Okay, this is a rectangular pyramid, but you don't have to have a rectangle. That's what we often think of, but you could have other shapes as the uh, as the um, the base. Okay, this part here is called the height. This is the height of the whole pyramid. Okay, it often gets confused with this piece. So this is the height of this, of this particular side of the pyramid. Okay, So this is called the lateral height. Lateral means side. Okay, So you know it, if there was stairs going up, the, up this pyramid, up the side of this pyramid, they'd be along that blue line. This is the height on the side. Okay. Now, if there was a leak in the roof right at the, at the top, at the vertex, and there was water dripping down onto the floor in the middle of the pyramid, that would be where that orange line is, and that's the height. Okay, Okay. so that's just a little vocab to get started. Um, yeah, and the, the height always has to be the perpendicular distance to the base, so I should add that in too. The per perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base. Okay. All right. So let's find the volume of this pyramid. Okay. So I'm going to use my formula one third area of the base times the height. Okay. The area of the base is pretty simple here because it's just a rectangle, a 4 by 5 rectangle. So this area is going to be 20, right? 20 square centimeters. That's the area of the base. And then the height, you just got to make sure you don't use the 14 because that's the lateral height. I want the 12. Okay. And often what I like to do on problems like this, you can just multiply from left to right. But one third of 20, that doesn't go in evenly. But if I take, hey, one third of 12 is 4, right? So then I can just kind of think of it like this. And then I don't need a calculator at all. 4 times 20 is 80. Uh, my units are centimeters. And this is volume, so cubic centimeters, 80 cubic centimeters. OK? All right. Um, on the next page, there's a problem just like this with new numbers. So if you want to pause the video and try that out, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to start working through it. And area of the base here is going to be 12. And then the height, i got to make sure I use 7, not 9. Okay, a third of 12 is 4. So my volume is going to be 28 cubic meters. Okay. All right, next up. This is a, a triangular pyramid. So the base here is a triangle, right? This is my base, and it's a triangle, not a square or not a rectangle. Okay. 
All right, so this time they tell us the volume. Um, so um, I'm going to find the height from that, okay? So I'm still going to start with the same formula because I know I'm dealing with the volume of a pyramid, okay? The difference here is I know the volume, so I'm going to put the 384 in over here, okay? Now, I don't know the area of the base yet, but I can actually find that, right? Because I've got a, a uh, it, maybe it's hard to see here, but if you look at this, um, this uh, triangle at the bottom, I've got everything I need to find the area of that triangle. So you got to remember the formula. It's one half base times height. Notice it's the lowercase b because it's not the area of the base. It's just the base of the triangle, which is 24 here. So if 24 is my base, the height of that triangle will be 8, right? So we've got 96 um, square meters for that area, okay? So that's what goes in here, okay? And now when I look at the formula, I can solve this for H, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to take one-third of 96 first. So you can just think of that as 96 divided by 3, which comes out to 32. Okay, and then I'll divide by 32. And comes out to 12. And I just want to make sure I get the same units as the rest of the problem. And so that's going to be meters. Okay, so using the same formula, I just had different knowns and unknowns. Okay. And it's going to be a similar kind of thing here, okay? On this last problem, um, it, we're told that the, um, the base is a square. And we can see it's a rectangle that's x by x, so it's got to be a square, okay? So let's start off with the same formula and see what we know. Well, we know that the volume is 75, so I'm going to put 75 in for v, okay? Now, I don't know what x is yet, but I know that the area of this would be x times x, which is going to be x squared. It's not 2x, right? x plus x is 2x. x times x is x squared. So the area of my base can be x squared. And then the, uh, the height is actually labeled here, right? The height of this is going to be 9. Okay, so let's start cleaning this up a little bit. So I'm looking at this and thinking, oh, one-third of nine is three. Okay, and I'm trying to get x by itself, so first I'm going to divide by three. So 25 equals x squared. And now I'm going to take the square root of both sides of this, and I can't have a you could say that x could be positive or negative 5, but you can't have a, um, a, length, a distance be negative 5 meters. So I'm just going to use the positive root here. And then, yeah, x is 5. I don't have to put in the meters because it's already in the diagram. I'm just saying what x equals there, right? If you put in the meters, it's not a big deal. But there it is. And that's the end of that section. Okay, I will see you next time.